I have to say I'm more on uh, Claudia's side than uh, Eric's, <laughs> but uh, what I will say is I, my own view is that general relativity is in very good shape, but may suffer from one fatal error, not really that it's going to destroy the theory at all, in the idea that the universe is expanding. I would say that probably the honest thing to say is that it's changing its shape rather than expanding. So let me explain why. And I'm going to take the simplest possible model of a universe that I can do, which is just Newton's theory of gravity, which is very simple. And suppose that I have a universe that consists of only three particles, and they are at the vertices of my triangle here. Now, can you, you can see, and you think you can see the size of this triangle because you see it against me, or you see it against the tent, or you see it against Eric. But if the triangle is all that it is, it's aware of itself, it can't see any ruler outside itself to say how large it is in absolute terms, or whether it's getting bigger. It's all it can say is it's changing its shape. It can go from being an equilateral triangle to one like this, or one that's like a shard with two particles very close to each other. So, how? So, but if this thing is aware of itself and says, "How large am I?" Well, when you measure something, you take a short measuring ruler and you lay it out how many times it is. I could use this as a ruler to measure uh, Eric's length, and I would find it's about six of that. I dare say. So how would this triangle decide how big it is? Well, it would take its shortest side, lay it, imagine in it, it can do this in its head because it can see itself, and it would say, well, that, that side is so much longer. Now what you can do if you have lots of particles, you can take what is the average of the shortest separations between the particles. That's called the mean harmonic length, and you can take the average of the longest separations between the particles, that's called the root mean square length. And then you can divide the one by the other. Then you get a pure number, and that is a, that's an intrinsic size of that distribution of particles. Now the interesting thing is, what's the smallest size that, it, that a triangle can have? Well, it is actually an equilateral triangle when all the three sides are equal, because then uh, uh, that, that's the smallest it can get. And that is also the most uniform one that it can get. Now, in the Newtonian theory of gravity, there are very interesting things that are just like the Big Bang, wherein, relative to an absolute external scale, the size is zero, but then the distribution of the particles is the most uniform it can possibly be and it evolves from the most uniform state to one that is much more clustered, so that beings within that universe think it's an expanding universe because they're instinctively taking what they see locally to be an absolute measure. So my belief is that it could well be that inflation is quite unnecessary. The universe started off in just the way that at the moment inflationary theory says it was after this extraordinary expansion. So I just throw that out as a possibility. It's a conjecture. Uh, I was once on uh, in our time with Melvin Bragg and Martin Rees, and Melvin Bragg was egging me on. So I said, uh, the expanding universe stinks. It's changing its shape. Martin Rees said, Julian, well, I think your philosophy may be quite good, but you're getting 95% of the physics wrong. But I have to say, I'm getting a little bit more confident there might be something in it. I'm speaking in the academy tomorrow, giving two talks about all of these ideas. Uh, so if you'd like to come along, I'll expand on that there.